Gear up for an electrifying showdown in Tokyo on December 26th as Naya Inoue steps into the ring with Marlon Tapales. The anticipation is building, and the pros are already weaving a tapestry of predictions for this epic clash. Marlon Tapales issued a bold statement ahead of his highly anticipated clash. Marlon Tapales knows that he's about to face a monster in the ring and declares himself ready to be Inoue's biggest nightmare come fight night. Tapales stated, I will be the Japanese monster's biggest nightmare this coming December in his own hometown. I'm glad my training is going smoothly. My condition, stamina, durability, punching power, and quickness are all in top shape. By December, I'll be better than ever and ready to give Inoue the fight of his life. Even Sean Gibbons has confidence in Marlon getting the win in Japan. Sean stated, Marlon is known for his never-give-up attitude despite the tall odds. He fights at any given situation. He adjusts and never fears. He will be coming for the monster. Marlon has been in Japan four times in his career. He is also 4-0, and and he's going to be 5 and O in Japan when he beats Inoue. Marlon Topolis definitely has been putting in the work training for a potential clash with Naoya Inoue. Edward Foliang definitely understands what it's like to be in Marlon's shoes as the underdog, but he thinks that he can pull through. Edward stated, I was in the same situation seven years ago. I know what he's going through as an athlete, especially if you're being labeled as an underdog. The pressure will always be there. It's all about finding motivation in it, finding perspective, knowing that there is a lot at stake in the fight. Liam Davies thinks that Inoue is going to win, though, and thinks that he could even beat Tapalis. Liam stated, I feel like Inoue's gonna win. I expect him to beat Tapalis. I feel like he could beat the featherweight. If I was him, that's what I'd be doing. But my shot is gonna come, and I just have to keep winning until then. I genuinely believe it's gonna come. When, I don't know. But when it does, I'll be ready, and make sure I become a world champion. Yeah, I believe I'd beat Tapalis. I'm very confident. My fights have shown that I'm very comfortable with Southpaws. They suit me. I couldn't see how Tapalis would beat me. It wasn't meant to be. Sometimes you have to be patient in life to get the things you want. I'm happy to do that. I just want to keep busy, keep in the ring as often as I can, and I'm sure the world titles are gonna come. Maybe in Telford. I'm not really bothered where. I want to go to America. I've proved I'm the best in Britain and Europe, and I want to go and show the Americans that I am up there. Some people believe that Marlon is the monster that in a way should be watching out for, though. How do, how do you now, see that? first of all, he has to get by my other fighter, Marlon Tapalis. Uh, that's true. So, okay. yes, we're not going to give him that opportunity okay. to talk about 26 at this point. Okay. You sit at 22, <laughs> deal with that first. Then we'll have a well, How about that one? How, how, how about that one with the Paulus? How about that oh, one? Oh, it's going to be a great fight. The thing is, I feel like Marlon's different because Marlon's come from hard time, bad, you know, tough situations. And so he's not scared to go against the odds being quote unquote against him. He's yeah. ready for the fight. So, uh, anyway, go find a guy in there who's not afraid of him at all. Even though he, he, they call him the monster. No, this guy's <laughs> the monster. Marlon's the monster. Yeah, Jerwin Ankajas believes that Marlon is about to shock a whole bunch of people when he steps in the ring with Inoue. Jerwin stated, Tapales really looked great, and his condition was every inch better when he was training here. Marlon's speed is going to be a plus factor. His great experience as well. Inoue can't count Marlon out. It's going to be a great fight. John Joan Estrada is Marlon's sparring partner, and he thinks that Marlon definitely has what it takes to beat someone like Inoue. Estrada stated, He is in very good condition. His punches surprised me because speed and power are there. Nothing is impossible if Inoue brought brawls with Tapales, but even if they finish the rounds and go the distance, I would still go with Tapales because he never lets up, punches a lot, closes the distance, and he is aggressive. I do not believe the people who say that Tapales has no chance against Inoue, because he is a two-division champion, and he is training hard, he is preparing hard, and is ready to fight. From what I experienced in sparring, he is very strong. Naoya Inoue is not a fighter you want to sleep on, though, and Nonito Donaire knows firsthand what's so dangerous about Inoue. When it comes down to a lot of things, you know, I think the best guy that I faced, uh, maybe perhaps if I was younger, it might be a different story, but at the moment of, of who I am in this time, I, I would say Inoue is, is, is the toughest that I've, that I've faced, or the strongest that I've faced. You mentioned Inoue is probably the best fighter What is it about him I think it's like facing the younger me. You know, there's just a lot of, a lot of similarities in terms of power, explosiveness, um, and, and sometimes intelligent, you know, um, but I think a lot of it is, uh, is given the, um, the similarities, it's like 
is what makes it more difficult. Floyd Mayweather looked back on Inoue's fight with Donaire, and he sees a lot of himself in Inoue. The kid from Japan, Anui. Mm -hmm. So when you see he got the victory of this, you know, Anui. Um, it was a Filipino fighter, he had fought twice. Donaire. So Donaire was giving, giving him fits in the first, first fight. And if I'm not mistaken, Donaire was somewhere close to 40 or 40 years old when he fought him the first time. Whereas, and he was in his 20s. So he should have, he should have knocked him out in the first fight, <laughs> fighting a guy, you know, like I said before, you know, at that age. What I need a new to do is, I need, I need him to come fight in the U.S., random blood and urine test. I, I, I think he's, I think he's a hell of a fighter, a hell of a fighter. I won't take nothing away from him, hell of a fighter. And I, and I, and I like him because I see he take a lot of my stuff. He take a lot of my stuff from my playbook. Luis Alberto Lopez definitely thinks that Inoue will come out on top, and he stated, it's going to be a good fight. They are both very good fighters. When Topalis did the stick and move versus MJ, it worked. Now, does MJ have Inoue's power? I don't think so, but definitely I won't miss this one. Rabesi Ramirez is probably one of the pros who is most excited to see the upcoming fight, and he doesn't care how it impacts his career. Ramirez stated, last time Inoue fought, I didn't really have time to pay attention to what he was doing. I was so focused on my opponent. I will definitely pay attention to this fight. It's for all of the titles at junior featherweight between two champions. I will be tuned in, but as a fan of the sport, I'm not even thinking about how it will impact my career. The only fight that impacts my career is Rafael Espinoza. After I take care of him, then I will figure out what's best for us. For now, my only plan is to watch Inoue fight as a fan of the sport who loves to see historic events like that one. Timothy Bradley, and he gave some great insight, Naoya Inoue versus Marlon Tapales. He bad news for Marlon Tapales. Yeah. I think it doesn't go past six rounds. I think he beats Tapales. Tapales, no, no, uh, you know, you know, I'm not being malicious or anything. Like, Tapales, of course, you got two hands, you, you got a shot. He does have some punching power, he does have some skill, he does have that toughness coming from the Philippines. Uh, but, in a way, it's just on another level, dude. He is. I'm sorry to tell you guys that. Yeah. He's gonna blow through Tapales, and he's gonna make it look really easy. Mm. You know, really easy. So, you know, uh, after this fight, Floyd Mayweather talked about possibly having Inoue fight Kermel Moton, and he stated, I can't really say who his style is like. You know, that kid from Japan, he's a hell of a fighter, hell of a fighter. And what we are doing in today's time, we make in dream matches, no different from when we did the Mayweather Canelo, we did the Mayweather McGregor, we did the Mayweather Pacquiao, we do the biggest matches out there. So, in due time, we never know. It can be Moton, and, you know, I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but the kid from Japan, if that's okay, you know, no disrespect respect. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.